Okay, so this video is going to start out a little differently. It's not going to be about coral, but about something that came in the mail that was a late birthday present and long awaited for. As you can see, the box is opened up and a bag comes out. Kind of looks suspicious, but this is what it's about. Uh, this is the Canon Rebel T6i Creator Kit. Um, I've been waiting to get one of these cameras for the longest time in hope to bring the video of the channel up to a new level. Uh, right here you see the Digital Creator Studio that has all the software you need to create videos. Here is the Wave Commander, it's a remote so you can have control of the camera and without outstanding behind it. And coming up is the, this is the filter set that comes with it. Nothing basically big. The only thing I really wanted out of this filter set is the clear one because in researching this um, camera, it's good to put this clear um, filter on the camera so that it protects the main part of the lens. So that's what I, pretty much the only one I'm going to use out of it. Um, there is an adapter that I'll be buying shortly that will accommodate a gel filter so this way when filming the shows you don't get that blue light look to it. But you'll see at uh, the end of the video how it really works with basically almost no white lights on at all. So now moving right along, uh, the next item coming out is the cable cord, re uh, cable release cord. Uh, this is to uh, hook the remote up to the camera and also be able to control the shutter on the camera. Next coming up is the cleaning kit for the camera that comes with a, um, a squeeze ball to get dust off of it, a little brush to, to wipe it off, and also a number of rags and wet wipes to clean your equipment and your lens off. Um, this is all included with the price of the camera, so that's the reason why I went for the Creator Kit, because it's geared towards YouTube video content creators. Okay, so the next item right on top of the box as you open it will be the SanDisk 32 gigabyte uh, memory card. Uh, this is so you can do your uh, record your video and take pictures and still have a lot of storage. Now, pulling out the main part, and this is the part I was waiting to get to for the whole video, is the camera itself. First out, uh, this comes along with the camera, and it's also the microphone that I'm talking on right now. It's the Rode uh, Go microphone. This mounts to the top of the camera, and um, it's a shotgun mic, so you can get audio while you're standing out, while your subject is out in front of the camera, or you're in front of the camera and it mounts right on top of the shoe on top of the DSLR. Now getting to the heart of what everything's about on this video is the camera itself. Uh, first you see this uh, card and then the instruction book, which is in many different languages and very, very thick. So I'll be taking my time reading that. Next is the EOS Digital Solution Disk. This puts all the uh, software that you need to run the camera, whether it be for developing pictures and video and whatnot. Getting into the box here, of course, is the Canon uh, camera strap. So the next item coming out, this is the wall charger. It comes with a uh, wall-mounted charger for the battery. It doesn't come with a car charger, but there is one that you can pick up for it relatively cheap. Um, here is the HDMI uh, to USB cable, and now the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. The Canon um, T6i is a uh, advanced focusing system where it will focus on um, your, your targets basically, for lack of a better word, relatively quickly and smooth. So now I'm getting antsy because I know the next thing out is gonna be probably the camera. But it's not, it's the battery. Okay, so now pulling the camera out of the box itself, um, the first thing that you're impressed with is that this camera is not heavy at all. 
Um, it's very light and it's got a nice feel to it as far as size is concerned and um, it fits good in my monster hands and it has what I wanted and the most important reason I bought the camera is it has this flip out lens that can uh, pivot and face you as you do intros or um, you know interviews or whatever so this way you see exactly what's being recorded on the camera The lenses are relatively easy to get on. All you have to do is match up this um, white square right here. And you match it up with the white square that's on the camera itself, on the body. And when you rotate it, you'll hear a click because it locks into place. Here is the battery door. And I'm trying to line it up the best I can, trying to figure out which is the best way. Because, of course, no one reads instructions when they first take something out. And here we go. And that's a fail. Don't go that way. So flip it over and then it slides in really easy. These two buttons on the side of the lens are for uh, advanced focusing and also uh, image stabilization. So this way the image doesn't blur as you move it. Here's how you put the Rode mic on top of the camera. Really simple and you can do it pretty much one handed. It really impressed me how everything went together rather quickly and rather smoothly on this. Okay, on the side of the camera, what you do is you flip open this little door up front, and this is where the other end of the road mic will go in. And as you can see, it goes in really quick. The one thing I recommend you doing is make sure that both this side and the side that are in the back of the mic, that they're connected and in, in all the way, because otherwise you will not record any sound at all. Turning on the camera, the first thing you see is the regular date time zone setup that you would see on a lot of things that you buy. And that's really quick because this camera has a touch screen. So most of your adjustments on the menus on the back of it are done simply by touching the screen. Now, once it's done, this is a quick look at the menu that I go through. But now I want to see exactly how the picture looks. So the only problem that I have is just trying to figure it out because, again, I didn't read it. And then, of, of course, I see no card in camera, which means there's no memory card in the camera. Got the memory card. So that goes in the camera next. And that's very simple and easy to do. Once that's in, camera boots up, and you're basically ready to take video. So now what I want to do is I want to show you exactly how it looks taking video in the aquarium with this camera we start off on the uh, neon green candy cane colony of course because this is the big one of the biggest pieces in my tank again this is with mostly blues and very little white in the tank i'm going to have to get used to filming with this camera because it does pick up the glare off of the the glass very uh, a whole lot so i got to make sure that there's no light coming in from behind me Right now, what I did is I boosted up the white just a little bit, trying to figure out, and it's going to be a learning curve, um, of what the best lighting on my tank uh, has to be to get the best picture. But you can see um, there are some issues with my euphelia, first of all, but how just quickly it focuses from one target to the next as the clowns are, are just were not cooperating. So... Um, with as far as movement, it, it keeps track of the fish and it's able to track them across the tank as they swim. And I think personally that the camera really, really makes the coral look really nice. And a lot of the, the colors come out and just jump out at you. Here's a shot of one of my cleaner shrimp and a blue eyed cardinal that was hiding in one of the caves. 
So I looked to, um, I just wanted to see if I could really catch the shrimp, which it did a really good, ni uh, nice job on it. On it. Then I looked to the left, and in one of the darker caves were two more cardinals and my Molly, who decides to come out and make an appearance uh, on cue. Nice and dainty. So you can see how it brings out the, the sparkle on these fish. And here's the other one that was on underneath one of the rocks. But you can really tell how it picks up the shimmer on the side of the fish as well as um, focusing from even the smallest of things, which is this is a, a piece of Monty, the encrusting Monty that decided to leave itself there when I pulled that frag off that rock. And it just popped up out of nowhere. And I see that I have another piece of uh, that coral growing on the tank. On the, on the rocks, rather. I really wanted to put the camera to the test and decided if you can just make it out, there's another cleaner shrimp. This is the second of the two that I have tucked way in the rocks, which it picked up really well. The tank itself is really doing good. I will have an update coming up probably on Monday um, to give you a heads up about how everything is looking and growing and all that stuff. Uh, but so, so swinging up, I just wanted to take a quick picture of the, a quick video of the LEDs to see that how the reaction of the camera is looking straight up at the light. The, M the MP10, I'll have a review coming out as well as the update. And here I just uh, wanted to show a couple of pictures, a few pictures of how the camera takes stills of the aquarium. Uh, I'm really impressed with the camera and I hope you enjoy the video that'll be coming from it in the, uh, in the future and uh, look forward to more videos coming out soon. So as always, this is Scott, and I'll see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.